Google had released Gemini 1.5, their next generation model, where they claim enhanced performance with the breakthrough in long context understanding across modalities. So I wanted to try it out. So this is available in the Google AI Studio. I had to apply for it and I got uh, it approved access to Gemini 1.5. There was a form and I have done some testing over here and I wanted to share that with you in this video. So the first one I tried was uh, all these things have been saved prompts. So I'll just show the results over here because each one takes its own time. So here what I did was I uploaded a video, my most recent video which talks about Anthropic Cloud Prompts Library. It's a six minute video. I uploaded it. It says there are 95,206 tokens in this video. Okay. And then I asked like, what is this video about? So Gemini 1.5 first time said no content. I have no idea why. So I again asked it, what is this video about? Then it says that this video is about Anthropic, a company that is leveraging a large language model called Claude. Actually, I was talking about the prompt library of Anthropic in this video. It's not about Anthropic. It's about Claude prompt library. So then I asked like, can you pull the URL from this video? I had an URL in the video, which was pointing to the prompts library. So it says I'm unable to pull. Then I asked like, what are key insights from this video? So here it says Anthropic is a company that is developing Claude. Claude is a friendly assistant and Claude is in its third iteration. Okay. Here it has come to the point of Anthropic has a prompt library. And one of the prompts in the prompt library is called code consultant, which can be used to suggest improvements to Python code performance. So this was point which I had covered in the video. Okay. Overall, the video talks about Anthropic. Actually, I had primarily focused in this video on the prompt library. Okay. So in this tool, uh, in this Google AI studio, you can create a new, uh, you know, if you press this create new, you can create a chat prompt, free from prompt and structured prompt. So I had created a chat prompt over here and I had uploaded this video over here. Okay. So this was about a prompt library uh, from Anthropic. So that video I had uploaded and I wanted to chat with the video. So this is one testing which I did. Okay. Now let's go to some more other um, things which I did. Okay. So then I wanted to test on images. Okay. So here, if you see, I uploaded one image over here. Okay. For uh, it doesn't, uh, I can't zoom into this image now. Okay. But if you look at this image, it is about some ingredients. Okay. Then I asked like, this is actually the label of a bottle. Okay. Half a med medicine bottle, Ayurvedic medicine bottle. And it had some ingredients over here. Then I asked like, what is this image about? It says this image is about the composition of a product. It lists the ingredients and their respective amounts in 10 grams of the product. Very accurate. Then I asked like, can you list the ingredients and their uses? So the uses are not present over here. Only the ingredients are present. Okay. It then starts listing it out like, okay, the shmul, uh, which is the first ingredient over here. Unfortunate that I'm not being able to zoom in this particular image. Okay but it lists out all the ingredients and it also talks about, you know, what they are useful for. Okay. Uh, this is a combination of 10 herbs used in Ayurveda. Okay. We need to actually cross reference over here. Okay. Let me see what if I ask over here, can you get references? References. or the above because this was a saved prompt. So I'm not sure whether it runs. Okay. Uh, the typical response times are like this 15 seconds, 12 seconds, 20 seconds, right? And for the video, it took a lot more time. So that is a kind of typical responses, uh, response time I'm seeing with this, uh, model. Okay. Um, so yeah, let it run in the meanwhile, uh, we can look into some other prompts. This is taking close to 30 seconds now. Okay, fine. Uh, let's look at some other prompts by the time this, uh, you know, is done. Okay. Oh, 
right uh, so this is another uh, image okay where i put an image of uh, you know uh, from uh, youtube basically i took this image okay so this talks about n queen's problems right uh, n queen problem using back tracking so i took that image and i asked like what is this image about it was able to decipher that this image is about n queen's problem classic problem in computer science and um, it talks about the goal of the problem and here it talks about solution for n queen's problem n is equal to 4 okay so basically that's the idea over here it's a 4 by 4 chessboard and talks about a solution over here so that is what it says okay then i asked like can you generate an image for n queen's problem n is equal to 8 it says image of a chessboard over here it's not generated an image over here it just says that here is an image and then it talks about the solutions and other things okay one solution basically then i was like what is the coding technique used over here it says that the coding technique used to generate the image of a solution is called backtracking and it explains backtracking okay and i ask it to generate code now for backtracking uh, for n queens it actually generates the python code i have not tested this code for any accuracy it has generated a code that's all i i want to say over here okay um now uh, maybe let's go back to that image test and see if uh, no, okay i think that was not saved i believe okay this was the n queens problem okay uh, let's look at uh, this problem okay here what i've done is that i've uploaded this gemini pdf uh, paper basically and then i asked certain questions regarding this document okay it says from this pdf it has extracted 41708 tokens okay and i was like what is the performance of gemini nano model on mid resource languages in a particular translation benchmark okay i wanted to pull uh, some data from a table in this whole document and see if whether it pulls it okay i wanted to ask a query regarding that so it says according to table 4 in this technical report it pulls out okay the benchmark is 67.0 this is much lesser than other models that's what it says over here i'm asking about gemini nano okay if you go to this particular uh, document uh, somewhere in the beginning we uh, table 4 is there let me quickly go there and let me show you uh, that table right okay this is mmlu nano okay 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 yeah basically ask this particular question mid resource what is the performance of gemini nano okay it has pulled gemini nano 2 over here and 67 this value it has given okay so it is able to pull data from tables okay i tried another on the same document i asked like in which page of the document can you find about complex multi-model reasoning capabilities applied to code generation it pulls the correct information over here saying figure 20 but it says page 16 okay and it explains that figure and other things over that example but if you go to page 16 it is not present over here okay it is actually present on page number i think 61 yeah i was asking about this particular figure okay or this example right so yes so over here it kind of missed out the page but it has pulled out that example and it is trying to explain that over here and its accompanying explanation okay so this was another use case which i tried okay uh, this was document uh, table basically uh, try to extract tabular data try to extract some uh, other unstructured data from a document there is another document which i tried uh, so this was a paper which i uploaded designed to code another video i have made and then i asked like what are the key insights here it is creating a summary of this paper it talks about you know what is this designed to code benchmark it talks about the automatic evaluation proposed uh, it talks about some highlights like this interestingly human uh, evaluation prioritize high level visual aspects and layout over detailed this thing okay so it talks about uh, kind of summary for the paper some insights are being pulled over here okay right uh, let's see other uh, uh, use cases okay so that was about this let's look at another uh, image use case okay so interesting use case over here so i put a figure of this particular rock rider bike okay this model okay est 900 and then i asked like how do i increase the seat height it actually correctly identified the bike over here uh, or the bicycle as rock rider est 900 the model 
and then it explains that you have this quick release lever go and do this open the quick release lever it will loosen it and then you can adjust the height okay this will loosen the bar and allow you to adjust the height of the seat interesting that it was able to identify this bicycle and you know refer to that okay uh, then if you look at another image which i uploaded over here right this was a screenshot of a youtube video of mine which talks about uh, grounded sam right now what was grounded sam grounded sam was uh, you know uh, it was about marrying grounding dino with segment anything stable diffusion recognize anything automatically detect segment and generate anything so it was a library uh, i was i created a video on this so the thumbnail of uh, that video i had given as input so it talks about here it goes for a toss it says that this image shows the difference between grounded sam um, sam and the stable diffusion grounded sam is a text to image model that can generate images from text prompts stable uh, diffusion in painting is a text to image model that can edit existing images based on text prompt so this is hallucinating over here okay i didn't like the responses over here another uh, use case which we have is uh, you know let me go to this one okay this is an interesting figure okay so this was a figure from a hotel uh, which i pulled out and um, this was written in handwritten okay you had handwritten data over here um, so in the handwritten data i wanted to pull out something so it says that yes this is an image from a restaurant it lists the actually i should have had the option to view that image over here okay let me see if i can try showing you that image uh, because that will be good okay let me see if this image yeah it was this image okay let me simply insert it again ah see okay see over here it was a handwritten uh, you know um, data over here basically uh, menu of items and then i wanted to ask a certain price so i was like like what is the image uh, the image is from a menu from a restaurant it understands that south indian dishes it identifies it then i was like what is the price of uddin vada over here it says 47.50 so look at the image over here it is 47.60 okay so here it is able to do ocr and uh, identify this handwriting as well right kind of handwritten and it is able to do and you see this reflection and other things are present so this is slightly challenging image uh, so it's done that right um, now if you go back to you know the other images let me see okay this was this image so i've kind of covered it uh, let's see this image if okay oh no i had lost that previous question which i had uploaded in the starting of the video maybe now i'll ask and say let's wait for the what are the can you get references for the above so you can actually save these sessions over here in the google ai studio right um so let's see how much time it takes this time so this is almost like a real time uh, generation i have i have seen typically it take anywhere between 15 seconds to even 30 seconds to a minute depending upon the kind of query which i have asked over here especially with the video processing it had taken much more time so we need to wait over here let's wait and watch whether it will even generate the response and if it is pulling references where is it pulling references from maybe i'll pause this it's taking too much time over here what i will do is that ah i stopped it and it has been able to pull it okay Oh, so it was still generating the uh, references. Okay, so I should have waited for some more time. But yeah, it has pulled out some reference over here, and if I click it, uh, it says leave site. Okay, it takes me to the reference. What if I copy this link and I paste it and see over here? You are at the wrong place. Okay, <laughs> so probably the reference was not. But yeah, at least it is pointing to some ayush dot gov dot in. okay maybe the next one 
it talks about therapeutic of this plant okay fine it's a pubmed link let's verify it wow peptide infuser okay this talks about something else over here it talks about something totally different not even related yeah so references are being hallucinated i'm not sure maybe i'll try out this now mm. okay pretty weird what is this totally unconnected what if i click over here leave no problem yeah so this is quite weird the references are uh, kind of hallucination over here would that i checked it out but i'm not sure if always it's this case but yeah in this case it's the uh, it is kind of references are hallucinated over here so this was my limited testing of uh, gemini 1.5 i am not judging this model i leave it up to you to try your use cases and do your judgments on this particular uh, model from google the gemini 1.5 pro in this google ai studio you can also try out other models like gemini 1.0 pro as well and uh, this is free this all this testing is uh, free over here so you can also go to google ai studio and if you don't have access to gemini 1.5 pro you have a form uh, which is available okay i'm not sure if that form is available over here uh, build with gemini let's see if it is available over here mm, okay access via this thing learn yeah you can sign up now basically in the ai studio uh, you can sign up you can log into ai studio using your google account and then you can sign up over here and they will provide you access for me it took nearly a week's time to get access to this particular model uh, more than a week's time right and then you can do your testing over here i hope this video is useful to you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video